Welcome to Suburban Beard's How To's. Unfortunately, you found yourself here, your last drop of hope. So we'll take you through and we'll hopefully not screw it up. Step one, get all the tools you need. I'm gonna show you what tools I'm using. Down below, I will have a list of all the tools that are recommended. Step two, grab yourself a cold snack. Step three or four, watch a lot of YouTube videos. One, remove this, the thing that collects the junk. Two, because nothing is uniform, you need Phillips to remove these screws. Make sure to put these somewhere where you'll forget them later. Step three, pry open the lid. Lift open lid. Make sure it's in a position that doesn't open nicely. Next step, remove this. Usually better to use a screwdriver, but I have one hand. There you go. Push up on that tab to pop it off of that. Next, we need to remove this on both sides of the door. This seems to come off best with an eight millimeter. Now I've done this before by trying something else before I had to replace it all. Inside of here is the piece that holds this in, in here. Get these now before you take it off and lose them. And yes, it will move on you when you touch this. Our next part is we're going to move this and lift up. It is hung in with clamps down here. So it's literally lift up and take out, and this will move. Everybody else seems to be able to do it without that happening, but not me. Stay. Those are the clips you're lifting it off of. Next, and most important, take a cold snack break. You need to make sure you take a photo of the way the belt is placed, so you know which direction the belt goes in. Whiskey. All right, next step, we need to get the idler pulley out, which is this piece, and remove the belt. The idler pulley will come right out for you. Now, if you don't need to replace everything else and you just wanna replace this, this is the point where you can get the new one and you reline up the belt and put your idler pulley right back into place. But we are gonna continue on and take the drum out and put in the new idler pulley and everything else. To get this out, lift up on the belt, pull, walk it out now. This is also the point I recommend vacuuming. Ooh, money. There we go. We're gonna loosen this 5 16 screw, which is also the same as the one that holds the front on. Next. We want to re loosen or remove the spring clip and the bracket that's holding on the front there. And obviously clean off any dirt left behind. We're gonna remove the triangle washer. Take that off and then this should come right off. And we're gonna do the same on the other side, except the other side does not have a spring clip. It just has the triangle washer. Whoop, and we're flying. And off she goes. My kit came with uh, four of the triangle brackets, so uh, I can replace the back ones as well, which I will also, I have decided to do. Why not? First triangle on the back one. Obviously you can avoid that frustration if you don't want to put a new one on. There would just junk around it, so I decided to replace it. Wheel or roller as they call it. Next triangle washer. Eh, eh, there you go. 
on the lighting sword boy, I apologize. Tighten this back up. Onto the other side. And just remember, it's okay if it's not going great for you. These things happen. Just make sure to always stop and enjoy a cold snack. Okay, now that those steps are complete, you want to make sure you have the rest of your stuff, like your new belt. The grooves go down. The lined grooves. This side will be more checkered than that. I'm going to go around here. And then make sure you also have idler pulley ready. All right, when you're putting it in, there's two things you want. You want to make sure the felt is not bent in and then it is up appropriately around the edge and that this is sitting flush on top of the idler pulleys. Now that those are moving, put this back in here. So you see it's sitting like so. And this is the point where you pull out the digital photo. Step 1120. Argue with somebody about how the belt should go back. No, I'm telling you, it's not going, how does it go through? That shows you exactly how the belt went back in. Because mine will not be the same as yours. Well, it might be, but it may not be. All right, I apologize, I couldn't, didn't show you this setting up, but mine loops through the middle and goes around this piece. To get it there, once this is locked in, you lift it up. I kept thinking I could get it in and then lock it in. That's not how this works. So lock in the base, lift this up, and then wrap it around and under and make sure it is lined up. So it all moves properly. And we have all the wheels going. There's a little squeaky, but that's me holding the drum still. So uh, next part, let's put it back together. We dropped it and locked it in there. And then those screws we lost, make sure those go back in here. And we're gonna plug this back in. But once this is back on, you can still get these on. They go on this side, right here. That curved side goes this way. Just like that. Make sure this doesn't line up properly. And make sure you enjoy another cold snack while you try to find the other lost screws. <laughs> then grab your Hair Catcher 5000, drop it in, and uh, we're gonna try and work it back into this room. And now the moment of truth. Are we going to hear the high-pitched squeal of death or just the sound of clothes drying? Actually, I don't, I don't know how to start it. I've never used it before. Hey, honey, how do you turn this thing on? I think we just fixed it. It's also not shaking as much. Wow, I, I actually I did it. Yes. Oh, God, it feels so good. Today, I didn't even have to use my AK. I gotta say it was a good day. But I am man, I have fixed dryer. Doesn't matter if I'm a man. A woman can do this too. A child could pretty much do this, just need someone to help hold things. But uh, yeah, super simple. Uh, that entire kit you saw with the belt, the pulleys, the extra triangle doohickeys, cost me 20 bucks. 90, I don't even think that, maybe after tax. Uh, I'll post a link down below to the one I got. I don't know if those are the parts you need, uh, cause the kits have all these different numbers and it's very confusing, so I just went for it. But that's why I bought it on Amazon, because if it doesn't fit, I just return it and get another one. So, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Stay thrifty, my friends.